We're now waiting for a Supreme Court decision on several issues related to gay marriage. And, um, and the question becomes, what about public opinion? How has that shaped the courts? And also, how has the media shaped public opinion? And the relationship between the media and public opinion is really one of those sort of chicken or the egg kind of questions. What comes first? Um, and take the issue of uh, homosexuality in society overall. I mean, we can look back to the early 1970s and uh, the number one show was All in the Family. Well, in one episode, Archie Bunker has to face uh, the reality that one of his good buddies is homosexual. And how does he handle that? Well, it shakes his world. All right, go! <laughs> what does Mike think, Archie? Oh, Mike, jeez. Well, for one thing, he thinks that friend of his, Roger, is straight. And for another thing, well, Steve, you're going to want to bust him wide open when I tell you this. I don't know where he gets these brainstorms, but he thinks that you're... I can't even say it to you, Steve. He's right, Arch. Huh? <laughs> By 1997, Ellen DeGeneres, you know, America's sweetheart, comes out of the closet and she's a lesbian and and by that point uh, public opinion is starting to shift a little bit already but uh, still she faces some backlash and she's ready for it uh, later on now in more recent years we've clearly seen a changing of the tide in public opinion in the united states the gallup poll from 2001 to 2010 shows we've moved from um, uh, disagreeing with uh, homosexuality now accepting it. These days we've had Will and Grace in the past decade, uh, we now have Glee and we have Modern Family which all sort of normalize homosexuality and the question is are we shaped by that or do we shape the media? And of course it works both ways so the chicken and the egg metaphor works here.